Hi, NEB friends. It's Miss Becky. I hope everybody is healthy and staying safe at home. Um, I have here with me my daughter, Summer, and my son, Jason, and they are going to be assisting me with a science experiment I have to show you. I figured since we have a holiday coming up, which is Easter, I tried to incorporate something to do with that in the experiment. It's called the bouncing egg experiments. Um, what you will need, which we have the plastic cups that are see-through, so you can see what's going on in the cup. You will need vinegar, obviously eggs, and you can pick a variety of any kind of um, food coloring that you want. So first, this is what we're going to do. Okay. You put a little bit of vinegar in each cup. And now do we have to put these in yep. there? And Summer and Jason are going to help assist me. How many drops? They're going to put at least five drops of food coloring in each cup. You can do any kind of colors you want. Go ahead. One, two, three. Do we need a mix up, Mommy? Do we need yep. a mix up? That'll be alright. It'll mix. Okay, you guys, take your eggs. And put them in here. Yep, go ahead. I don't want to put six. That's okay. Did I put too much too? We're going to do one without a color, which that's going to be a cool one because you'll be able, if you let it sit for a certain amount of time, a couple days, you'll be able to see right through it because it'll take oh, mommy, the full show I need off. an egg for that one. And what's going to happen is, is the vinegar is actually going to eat the shell off and it's going to give it a little of a squishy texture and it's going to be able to bounce just a little bit. It's not going to be like a bouncy ball. You don't want to take it and try to bounce it like a bouncy ball. It's not going to be that bouncy, but it gives it a little bit of a bounce. But you'll want to leave these sit in the cups overnight or if you want to see the one with no food coloring in it and you want to see th through it, you'll want to sit, have it sit there for at least a couple nights. Well, I hope you enjoyed our science experiment. Have a good day. Thanks.